Hello dear friends, welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SolidWorks 3D Modeling, exercise number 4. We make this 3D model, with the help of this diagram, in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SolidWorks software. Click on New. Select a part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description, for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we make the center rectangle. Also, make this profile with the same sketch on the front plane. Then, we extrude this part of the sketch up to 104 mm and the remaining part extrude will be 24 mm. Let's start modeling. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Select the center rectangle tool from the sketch tab. The select origin point for the center point of the rectangle. Move Corsair away. Put the value 48 millimeters, the width of the rectangle, and press enter. Then put the value 72 millimeters, the length of the rectangle and press enter. Click on mark OK and end the command. Take line command from the sketch tab. We start this profile from this corner point. Select this corner point of the rectangle, then draw the line straight vertically to upside and enter the value 16 millimeters. Next, straight horizontally to the left side and enter the value 24 millimeters. Then, draw the line straight vertically to upside and enter the value 16 mm. Next, straight horizontally to the left side and enter the value 24 mm. Then, draw the line straight vertically to the upside. Click an end point on this line of a rectangle with this vertical tracking reference or enter the value 16 mm. Escape the command. Make sure we draw correct lines with dimensions. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Notice here, nothing happens with the sketch. Now, see here. In this case, we have an option, Selected Counters. Just click on this section and select the segment of the sketch. Extrude this segment in this direction. You can select this arrow and pull how much you want to extrude but we have the value for the extrude this segment. So we go with entering the value. It's easy also. Enter the extrude value here 104 millimeters. We enter the total value as shown in the diagram. Click on the OK mark. See, our 2D sketch converted into a 3D model. Now go for the next part. See, here is the first step listed in the part design tree. Just expand it and select this sketch that we made earlier. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Then once we select this option, Selected Counters, then select this remaining segment of the sketch for extruding. And this extrude will be 24 mm as shown in the diagram. Enter the extrude value here 24 mm. Click on the OK mark. Now, this 3D modeling is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the Appearance. And, select Metal. Select Copper Material. And, I choose Cast Copper Material. Just drag it on the object and select the Body option. Now, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like, or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day. Stay safe and take care.